Right back from 1988, which is now over 30 years ago, ESB started on the journey of renewable generation and low carbon power generation. Since then, we've installed and built over 800 megawatts of green energy, both in Ireland and in the UK, uh, which is enough to power over half a million homes at this stage, which is really significant. That feeds into ESB's Brighter Future strategy, and within that, our aim to transition to a low carbon generation fleet. Grouse Mount Wind Farm is our latest development, which is just completed. It's Ireland's largest onshore wind farm at 114 megawatts. We've installed 38 turbines on that site down on the Cork Kerry border. And that's a real indication of ESB's intention to deliver on the brighter future strategy and that low carbon transition. We started construction back in 2017. Prior to that, many detailed surveys and investigation works across the very mountainous site. With this wind farm, which is 38 turbines, there's also a very long grid connection linking the wind farm to the national grid. We worked in excess of a million man hours, again, a huge number, building new track across the mountain and linking up all the 38 turbines, including cabling between each turbine to a newly built substation. We've delivered all the 38 turbines from Cork Port throughout 2019 and then right up to summer 2020 where we fully commissioned and energised and brought that complete development online and onto the national grid. These projects are really the central pillar of the ESB's Brighter Future strategy. In the case of Grousemont, onshore wind farm development. We're also working on offshore development in the past couple of years, early stages at the moment, and we're expanding into solar battery projects and other technologies that will deliver the energy and the low carbon transition for power generation fleet across ESB. Over 100 workers, many of them locally hired during the construction phase. But the benefits to the local community reach far beyond the construction phase right throughout the 25 years of operation. We leave behind us a huge community benefit fund, over 3 million euros worth in total. And for a rural part of East Kerry and back into Cork, that's very significant community benefit whereby we can support local projects long into the future and right to the end of the operation of the wind farm itself. ESB has huge plans and targets in relation to offshore wind farm development. Over 30 years, we've now a very large onshore footprint, but we now have very significant targets that we are working on in relation to offshore. So we've started to invest in some construction projects in the UK, offshore in Scotland, and we have now development work ongoing, particularly along the east coast of Ireland, on a number of offshore wind farm projects, which we're very excited about. The wind resource around the coast of Ireland is so strong, particularly around the east coast where there are shallower waters. The potential to build offshore wind farms right along the east coast and hopefully in the future onto the west coast is absolutely very strong. We can see over the coming years as we build out further onshore wind farm developments and really get into the offshore wind farm space that we can achieve the 70 by 30 target and then net zero carbon by 2050, which is a longer term aim. And we have a massive offshore wind potential. For example, in Belgium, they have a coastline of only 60 odd kilometers and they've over 2000 megawatts of offshore wind already developed with more planned. But if you consider the west coast of Ireland with two and a half thousand kilometers of coastline, it's absolutely huge, the potential. And ESB want to be front and centre in developing uh, floating offshore 
and fixed offshore on the west coast of Ireland and around our coast in the coming years.